Okay everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can leverage our internet device to help us do some rudimentary blocking of things like internet access, websites, and even setting time restrictions on devices that are connected. Naturally, this is very different depending on the device that you have to connect to the internet. Uh, I have an Optus modem here as an example, just to step you through some of the basics, but this is very different for the device that you may have. Please do feel free to reach out, send us an email, an update or a question or anything around the specific device that you may have. And we may be able to find some instructions and some details for you. So let's have a look at how we can configure not only internet URL blocking, but also how we can set time restrictions for specific devices. You can see here on my gateway, Optus gateway device, there's a number of connections that I have on Wi-Fi, different Wi-Fi ranges, and of course the physical network. Um, let's go and have a look at the device that I'm using though. I am connected to a Windows 10 device. So in order to discover what the name of this computer is, there's a number of ways you can do that on a Windows device. I'm simply going to click on the Start button. I'm going to search for System. And let's go and open System Information. Here you can see that the system name is Desktop-OMA-H2LN. <laughs> Not an overly helpful name, but one that identifies this machine that I'm connected to. And that's also the device name that we're going to look for now on our internet device. Let's go back to our internet device. And here we can see desktop dash OMA dot 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 is the device that I am interested in. If we go to the details of that I can change things like the icon for this device. I can set a description of where it's based. But actually what I'm interested in is the parental control. And they could not be more basic but it's worth having a look at here are the things that we can do to allow the device to get out to the internet at specific times. You can deny all, so this device cannot connect to the internet. You can allow all, or you can drag your mouse to say, you know, only between the hours of say 12 p.m. and 4 in the afternoon can the device connect to the internet, things like that. So. Let's leave it at an allow all for the moment, and I'm going to go back to my Windows device. Let's go and simply browse to any website by opening Microsoft Edge. In fact, you can see it's automatically trying to get to msn.com. Let's just go to a website that we know works. Let's go to just microsoft.com. That page is working successfully, so we certainly know that this page is working. Back here on the Internet Gateway device, I'm simply going to go now, go now and click Deny All and Apply. Let me go back to my Windows 10 device. And now if I close Edge and reopen it to go to Microsoft.com, we should find that it just simply doesn't load. They won't get an error message. It's not that comprehensive as far as blocking is concerned, but it is still a level of control. Let's try other things like www.microsoft.com. And you can see that that also is blocked. Just to confirm that we have, what else have we blocked? All internet access. So absolutely nothing from this machine will work because we've blocked and, and disallowed any internet access. Now, so that's just timing based. Uh, connectivity or timing based settings that we can apply to individual devices but let's say we want to be a little bit more selective let's say we want to allow between the hours of something like that something like that between the hours of four and eight at night maybe nine maybe something like that same for all days do 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 We'll set that on the on the internet device here, the Optus internet device. We're going to apply that. Because it's 6 p.m. here, the internet access should suddenly start working again on the device. Let's change back to it. Simply clicking refresh and this should reload straight away. So you can see that the uh, internet access is definitely being blocked by the home modem or home internet device.
And there we go, we can see that the page now has suddenly started to load. Finally, let's just go and quickly look at the very rudimentary URL block or uh, block list. If we go to the home page of this device, and then we click on the network settings button here, we had the internet access control planning, which was purely about timing. So for example, you could see the desktop device here. When I tick that, it shows me the times that it's allowed or not allowed. Um, but I'm more interested now in the URL filter. So let's click on that. And under here, we can specifically add restrictions on websites that we don't want to be able to get to. You'll note here, however, restrictions on websites will apply to all connected devices. And this means that all traffic will be blocked to there as well. It's not just internet traffic, but absolutely any traffic to these sites will be blocked. But let's just give an example like .microsoft.com. We're now going to go in and filter this website, which means it will be blocked from connectivity. I'm going to apply that. It's saved successfully. Let's go back to my machine. Let's go now to www.microsoft. And again, you won't get a message. It just simply won't load. So you can see it's entirely rudimentary as far as blocking and internet access is concerned, but it is effective. So from a, a parental control perspective, from an internet blocking perspective, from protecting your kids from websites, um, particularly websites that um, are other than things like Google and Microsoft in the examples that we've used today, you can see that you can leverage these devices for a rudimentary form of blocking. And also keep in mind, this blocks absolutely every device that is connected on your home network. It is a useful sledgehammer approach to blocking internet access. Um, you could, of course, put, and you can add, of course, other addresses as well. Um, but this is time consuming, of course, if you have to add individual addresses. You can see it's upset because I haven't actually clicked apply yet. I'm going to click, I'm fine to move on from this page. Um, but so that way on this Optus device, you can see I've got parental controls for the timing of when the device is allowed to connect to the internet. So that's individually for each device or filtering for every device that goes through this internet access point. So hope that video has been useful for you. It's a very quick whistle stop tour of a Optus internet modem. Um, it will probably be very different for you depending on the modem and the device that you're using. Um, there's lots of ways that you can research how or if the device that you're using has things like parental controls or URL filtering. I hope the video has been helpful. Uh, let's move on now and we'll go to the next videos. Bye for now.